hey guys welcome back to another hello kitty hunting video i can't wait to show you guys all the goodies that i found and we did stop at mcallen texas throughout this video so let's get right into it hunting day number one and first stop was marshall's and they did have two tanks out and they did have a few hello kitty bowls i did spot those ray dunn measuring cups as well i put those in the cart i ended up grabbing a few for some friends there was so much on these tanks i went through them trust me like five times i wanted to make sure that i didn't miss anything but then i went to the ceramics and they had these adorable hello kitty plates they also had a few ramen bowls i was obsessed with the one on top and guys look at all these dang tubs i was like oh my gosh watch the hello kitty blankets be in one of these i tried to look through a few but i didn't really see anything so i wasn't too worried but then i spotted these gorgeous juicy couture robes i love the one in the front because it's all pink and then guys i spotted all these shower curtains i was like let me just look through them make sure there's no hello kitty and i spotted these adorable baby hello kitty slippers you guys they were so adorable i also saw that they had these luggage tags i swung by the beauty and i saw these mirrors and guys look what was right by the queue line i was obsessed with this barbie sweatshirt it was kind of like a crop top it was 14.99 i also found this hello kitty pencil case holder and they also had these hello kitty cotton pad canisters and they also had these christmas edition sanrio lip balms i turned the corner you guys and they had a ton of these hello kitty cotton swabs and then i saw that they had so many of these cute kawaii lotions you guys they did have like a hello kitty one they had these sanrio ones these are the measuring cups that i ended up getting and you guys i ended up spotting the hello kitty santa mug look how beautiful she looks in all her glory and look at this gingerbread house you guys it was so cute they even had the sushi hello kitty socks i also found these gingerbread ray dunn measuring cups and they had this hello kitty sign in the front and they also had notepads and notebooks Next, I headed to Ross and they had this Boss Babe water jug. I thought it was so cute. And guys, I found the freaking Hello Kitty robes. I ended up grabbing one for me and my friend. But they were a little pricey, priced at $19.99. I thought they would be like $14.99. And here's hunting day number two. And first up was TJ Maxx. Right when I walked in, I saw these Hello Kitty signs. I love the hot pink. They also had these pencil bags. They had the pink one and the green one with the little mushrooms. Then I went to the ceramics and my friend and I found these candy cane Ray Dunn measuring cups. And then I also saw that they had this Hello Kitty face pillow. Then I went to the beauty because I wanted to see if they had any Hello Kitty face products and they did. I found the watermelon facial cream. Then I spotted these mugs at Burlington. They also had these tumblers in the queue line. I headed to Ross after and look what I saw behind the counter, you guys. It was so cute. But when the worker got it for me, it was for little kids and it had this rip. I was like, oh my gosh. But I found these pink ceramics as well for Valentine's. I thought they were so adorable. They also had these Hello Kitty signs. Each of them were $6.99. I thought that was a really good price and of course the pink one was my favorite i went to home goods afterwards and they had these stitch bakeware i wanted to see if they had any hello kitty but they didn't but then i spotted this adorable gingerbread house bowl and spatula set they also had these hello kitty ramen bowls and i spotted the impressions vanity sponge holder and guys look look what was in the back room i was like oh my gosh and of course they didn't bring them out that day but then i went to marshall's after and they had those gingerbread mugs and look at these nail polishes they were so adorable if i was a little girl i would literally scream they were so cute and they also had these hello kitty slippers and the glitz and glam mirror and i ended up finding more of the candy cane measuring cups i was so happy then here's hunting day number three and first stop was tj maxx i ended up seeing the hello kitty suitcase and they also had these backpacks and you guys these backpacks are really good quality each of them were 
but I know there's more styles, but they only had these two. After TJ Maxx, I headed to Burlington and they had a few Hello Kitty mugs, but I feel like we've seen these before. They didn't really have anything I was looking for, but they did have this Hello Kitty mug that I thought was somewhat cute, but once I opened it and looked inside, it did have like a stain on it, which was pretty weird. But it was $5.99. After Burlington, I did head to the mall straight across, the Woodlands Mall, and they had these Sanrio Squishmallows. They only had one My Melody left. I thought they were all so cute. After Hallmark, I went to Claire's and I saw that they had the Hello Kitty and Friends Cafe collection there. And I ended up finding my dunks that I've been looking for forever. Then I headed to Hot Topic and they had this adorable little coin purse. And look at these little grips for your Nintendo Switch. I thought they were so adorable. Oh my gosh, they were only $14.99. They also had these Christmas bags and this wallet. And they had these oversized hoodies. You guys, they had a ton of stuff at this Hot Topic. They even had my Melody, Karomi, and you guys, I remember posting this on my Instagram and y'all went crazy for it. But once I saw the price, I was like, um, no ma'am. But I was obsessed how the blanket did have strawberries on it. Look, you guys, it was $40. I was like, if it was for $20, then I probably would have bought it, but not for $40. They also had this Hello Kitty and Friends makeup palette. I love the packaging on that one. If you guys have made it this far into my video, please make sure you subscribe and leave a like down below. And also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post. They also had this Rishma backpack. They also had the regular Rishma. After Hot Topic, I saw this kitchen towel and spatula set. It was so cute, only $17.99. They also had a Kiromi mug here. And they had quite a few Squishmallow products here, you guys. Look at this Boba Tumblr with all the Sanrio characters. I was obsessed with this one. It was only $12.99, which I thought was a pretty good price. They also had these Sanrio Squishmallows. And they had more mugs. They had a My Melody mug as well. They also had this adorable cap. They also had stationary items, you guys. Those pins were so adorable. And they also had this Kiromi mug heater it was so cute and here was a store called Fi. they had these adorable hello kitty tumblers these were 30 dollars, which i thought was a little pricey but here's hunting day number four and of course i went to tj maxx first and spotted this hello kitty tumbler they also had some hello kitty ramen bowls but this cart was pretty empty but they had the Hello Kitty Christmas tag stickers, the green and pink. And look at these tiny little notepads, you guys. And look at her little fingers. I thought they were so funny on this design. So cute. They also had three other designs. They had this plaid one. They also had the regular white with her faces on it. And they also had the green with the mushrooms to match the pencil case. I thought they were all so adorable. I went to the beauty and I spotted this portable supplement case. They also had the Hello Kitty bath bomb and bath salt little Christmas set. They also had these lotions. And look at someone's cart, you guys. They had the Hello Kitty wrapping paper. I went to Ross after and spotted these adorable gingerbread slippers. It came with two socks as well. And I also spotted this Hello Kitty sock set. 12 days of socks. It was so cute. You could see all the designs on the back. I thought this would be a perfect gift. And they were $19.99. I headed to Burlington after and saw more of these mugs. I also spotted this mug that I have not seen before. It was only $6.99. Here's hunting day number five. And this was when I was in McAllen, Texas, you guys. I absolutely love this city. Everything was so much slower here. Everything was so much more relaxed. But when I did go to this home goods, it was pretty empty, you guys. I think because it was right before Thanksgiving. So they probably didn't have any recent trucks. But they did have a few things. I went to this Marshalls and spotted some Tinkerbell measuring cups. They also had this Hello Kitty notebook. They had a few, so I think the lady had just put them out 
this design is so cute but i'm so bad with white it was 4.99 i also spotted this hello kitty neon sign and guys look what i found hiding behind a ton of blankets i was so shocked to see her she was 16.99 I also went to another home goods. Again, this one was pretty empty as well. I did not see not one Hello Kitty item, unfortunately. The only thing that I saw were these garlic Raydan measuring cups, but I ended up leaving them. But after home goods, I did go to the mall and look at this little stand, guys. They had a bunch of Sanrio squishmallows. And look at the milk one for Santa. That was so, so cute. I also went to Kids Foot Locker after and spotted these Adidas Hello Kitty NMDs. They were so, so adorable. I love the shade of pink. I just wish they didn't have the flowers on top, but I went to Hot Topic after and look at this rhinestone Hello Kitty crop top shirt. I was so obsessed. But they did have this Hello Kitty tumbler that I was looking for. I believe it was $19.90. I love all the pink. Then I went to Claire's, they didn't have anything. And then I went to another Marshall's and I spotted that oink. But I went to the queue line and saw that they had some Hello Kitty jewelry. Each set was $19.99. I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby to see if they put out the new Hello Kitty items, but they only had the old stuff. But surprisingly, they did have the pants and they only had like these little kits that i've seen before they had a few stickers the stickers were pretty cute i'm not gonna lie but as i was heading out i saw this adorable gingerbread display everything was so cute and here's hunting day number six and first stop was tj maxx i'm still in my gallon here and look at this adorable valentine's mug i thought the ombre pink was so adorable and I found another oink, you guys, but it did not say oink and it was missing the top. I thought it was so funny. But then they also had two tanks full of stuff. I also made sure that I didn't miss anything on them. They also had some Morphe setting spray. I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss any of the Hello Kitty facial products. They didn't have anything, unfortunately. Um, but they did have this adorable Pusheen mug and coaster set i thought the pink and the mint was so cute together i believe the set was only 12.99 i went to the burlington next door you guys and when i tell you this was the neatest burlington i have ever went to in my life you guys they had so much merchandise here and it was all so organized props to them i wanted to see if they had the hello kitty blanket in the box but they didn't have it after burlington we ended up going to this vendor spot and i found that hello kitty starbucks tumblr it was so freaking adorable i had to have it and that's it you guys thank you so much for joining me on this week's hunt don't forget to like and subscribe